Holy! Let's go! I'm so hyped. We're gonna play Metal Gear Solid. I haven't played this game in a few years. Uh, I played on the PS1 when it came out, but I was very young. So my I watched my brothers play more than anything. Uh, but yeah, I played a few years ago. This is one of my favorite games ever. And this is my favorite franchise of BD games, for sure. Uh, here we go. So hype. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Oh, yes. Now, I have the Master Collection, but it looks like shit. So I'm going to be playing on Duck Station. <laughs> it looks so much better. Um, before we start the game, we're going to check some briefing documents. I'm going to make a whole new, a whole different video, uh, including all the briefings. All the master collection content and i will also put the previous operations yeah, which is a text explaining what happened in metal gear one and two which we played before this by the way we're playing all the metal gears in release order basically for this playthrough i'm gonna watch everything I'm not gonna skip anything hideo kojima game Let's go. Alaska, Bering Sea. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by Next Generation Special Forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson, and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Okay. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation. And a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Okay, that's a briefing already, because the briefing from the main menu, it's that, it's the same content, so we don't have to listen to it anymore, we basically just got it there, in the intro. Alright, perfect, I didn't remember, they will gonna brief us there. Alright, so... What a main menu, legendary, like, I don't know. That intro already tells you the qualities up here. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Play the game. Here we go. 
we're gonna play on normal. Nostalgia over 9,000. This shit is too epic, man. I'm getting goosebumps. Is that bit loud? I haven't even the OBS sound reduced. It's crazy. Liquid. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay. I'm Nano machine, go. son. There we go. Have you ever played this game or watch it, baby Bell? Uh, also, how are you? I don't think that you get alarm if they oh Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere. Okay. You just watch a few streams here and there. Oh you're working? Okay, okay. How do you call it? Oh shit, there's a car here. Also, the guards in this game, if you knock them down, they don't stay down. They only stay down for like a few seconds. And they was uh, amazing. Thank you for asking. How's yours? How do you call the elevator? <laughs> also, if you press uh, triangle on PS controller, you do first person view. Oh, there's a Russian there. So let's, let's get up it. If you walk through the, if you walk through the water, they will hit. Ah, she. First alarm. Run, snake. Epic. How do you call the elevator? This is called Campbell. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. Oh, I just have to you wait. Better hide somewhere. Okay, 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 okay. So we just have to wait. And the elevator will come back. Got it. I, for me, I don't like games that have too many cinematics or too little gameplay. And I also don't like games that everything is gameplay and there is no cinematics. Like for me, Metal Gear is the perfect balance. Sometimes it can be a little bit too much, to be honest. But it adds so much. Like the gameplay is so fun. And then the cinematics add so much. It's crazy. Oh, there's a guard coming on the elevator. I feel that all school games were a lot less forgiving. Yep, they, they were. Uh... The, oh, everything changed. Oh, let's go up. Here we go. I'm gonna try to stay quiet during cinematics, but 
I'm reading your comments and I will respond to everything in time. The man, the legend. Solid snake. So I own the game. I own this game. But I'm playing an emulated version. Isn't that funny? Thank you, Konami. Because the official port sucks. You guys see the camera angles, the transitions. It's like Kojima is a movie director, basically. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. <laughs> An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Oh, shit. They know we're here. Oh. Brother! Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Hey. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. The Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Oh! Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. Okay, focus on the mission, guys. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't sure. let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. Yeah. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get yeah. whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. 
I'm very glad this game has voice voice acting. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Okay. Don't forget it. So a cute Remember, accent. Except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. <coughs> oh, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. Damn. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? <laughs> In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You yep. never know. Exactly. <laughs> if you want to get I feel in, like the game is a the little bit door. laggy. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Okay, a little bit of scouting the environment. A surveillance camera. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. Okay. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. I got this shit, bro. Okay, here we go. Now I'm playing myself. First, we're gonna call uh, mailing. Oh, we already have the frequency. I'm gonna save the game. So if I die, we'll have to. You called Snake? Yes. Ah, there you go. That's how you save. Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. Sure. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now the enemies can see the, the footprints in the snow. Very cool mechanic. We're full of rations, but I can take one. Our health is very low, very limited now. Let me see. There's a truck. Couple of lights there. Let's try to get in the truck. Oh my god, I suck him. Pistol. Send me the bandit pistol. Hold down a square to aim. Release to fire. The thing is, we don't have a suppressor, so if we shoot, it will make noise. And we don't want to do that yet. I'll only use it when, when we have no other escape method let's see what's in this surveillance camera <gasps> surveillance camera what's in there there's an item how do I get that Stun grenade. Can I crouch and walk like this? No. That's all the second game. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, remembering stuff for this game, okay guys? <laughs> remembering stuff. 
and I've been rusty. I haven't played this game in like three, four years, I think. The game looks fine, everything looks fine, right? It looks smooth. Sometimes it seems like I'm getting some frame drops. Black guy's like sleeping. Let's go to the second floor. Stealth. Stealth, guys. Look at this. Wait, how do you... Oh, there you go. And this game, you can also knock on the doors, on the walls, to, like, uh, distract the enemies. There's a guard coming my way. Let's see how the video will end. Uh, in this game, the guys immediately see you and trigger the alarm, by the way. There is no... There is no, like, time to react. Right. Then they call me. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion Oops. with a hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Oh, shit. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Yeah. How did he not see you? Well, I was like uh, doing this, you see? He's walking around. I was like against the wall and then he, he looked away and I sneaked past him. That's how. Special uh, stealth specialist. So realistic. I mean, it's a gameplay. Right, we're we're getting inside the building now. We're infiltrating. Spionage tactics. Here we go. Miller. Yep. Snake. This is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time, Master. What are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Yeah. Now, in this game, there are a lot more frequencies. In the previous games, there were only the same number. So it was like from 00 to 99, basically. In this game, there's more, so you cannot guess them as easily. And secondly, one of the most confusing things is Miller. Like, Miller appears out of nowhere. You don't know who he is. But if, we, if you play Metal Gear 1 and 2, you know he's he used to be like your master your your teacher basically your mentor okay room camera an item there a ladder a couple of tanks two floors yeah let's go so yeah in this game he kind of uh you don't know who really he is but yeah Welcome, Polio. Huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Hey. Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? Oh, they know. already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Robin done anything. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Okay. I was going to say something I forgot. Oh yeah, on the briefing, we didn't listen to it, but on the briefing they tell you Campbell, Col Colonel Campbell, 
is doing this mission because her his niece got captured in this facility, so we had to rescue her. She's uh, she's a woman, and her name is Meryl. And that's the reason Snake accepts the mission, kind of, as a personal favor. Because he basically got kidnapped and brought here. Be like, bro, you're gonna do this. And it's like, bro, I'm not, doing, I'm not gonna do shit. <laughs> but yeah, he then accepted when. Item there, okay. I see, I see. <laughs> it's sorry, you miss the star. You miss the star, bro. Can I do a how to drop down here? Press the action button to drop down. Okay. I have two rations, so I, don't, I cannot take this one. Yeah, whatever. That was too sneaky. Stealth, stealth stream. Okay, here we go. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Thank you. Try to find it. Thank you. We got chat grenades. Stun grenades disable all enemies. So it's like a stun grenade, no? And chat grenades disable electronics. So you can get rid of the cameras with the chat grenades. Like that one. Also, walking in this, as you can hear, makes noise. Level 2, we don't have a car. Okay, let me look. Uh... This is open, but there's a camera there. We can of sneak past through it. Thermal goggles. Let's go. Let's see the, the let's see the thermal goggles. Holy. That's why I put the red filter. Because we're using... Every time I... In the first game it was green. So I was green. And the second game was blue. And this one is red. I'm using the first person camera to know when the cars are coming. Basically. What the hell? Level 1. We don't have any cards yet. Well, every time you tell me about an update, Polygon they break something. <laughs> Go. Okay. We did it to the bottom floor. Let's look around here. Guard there. Guard coming this way. Oh shit, I'm getting sandwiched. There is a con. Oh, that's why it's blocked. Okay. You can hide under the tanks, classic. But we can also take the elevator. Let's see, this room is level one, so we don't have we can open it. We just have to go to the elevator. Takes some time to arrive. So if you are on an alarm, you can leave quick. So we are on the first floor, we're gonna go to B1. Don't they have like a backup revert, like revert the the update? Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's Keep here. Green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay. Level six. So Doctor DARPA is on that cell. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Thank you, Campbell. 
<laughs> okay. So we are we are on B1, like the soldiers were saying. They they were holding them in the first basement floor. Ugh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. So there's like a bathroom, okay. We're spying. <laughs> Some kind of boss piece. Suck on bullets. Nice. I really love the the quick quick uh equipped and unequipped. Especially for fast reloading. Because if you have if you shoot your uh, your weapon and run out of ammo, you can either do the whole reload animation or you can very quickly press R1 R1 pop up and you will instantly reload. Woman? Is that a woman? Not me. I'm pretty sure if you stay here looking at her for a while, there's like um, Easter eggs and stuff. I don't remember, but I'm just gonna keep going. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Here we go. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. Oh, what? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. I think Stan has heard of that before. <laughs> I have destroyed two of them already. Metal Gear. Oh! It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. <laughs> so that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> 
<laughs> what the hell? Enjoy, baby Bell. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Ooh. Oh, you mean, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But... There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. <laughs> that card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Oh, what is it? What's that? Hey, what happened? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Okay. But knowing what happens after this is just this this I envy everyone who hasn't played these games. Oh. Cuz this has so many repercussions it's crazy to think about it.
also I just realized uh Meryl, which is that woman. <laughs> we're gonna meet her soon. She has the tattoo of uh, oh, she's opening the gate, the door. She has the tattoo of the Fox Sound logo from uh, the Metal Gear 2 when you transitions areas. Don't move. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. <laughs> you haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Oh. I told you I'm no rookie. <sighs> oh, shit. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Shit! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! <laughs> Oh! Oh shit, grenades. Okay. Oh, just shot. Don't think. Thanks for the help. Wait. Who are you? Sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. <laughs> this fight. You pick so much more once you know what's happening. Holy shit. It's crazy. The direction this game. Good girl. Just like that. Oh shit. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Hmm. Okay. Let's check back here. So Meryl basically gore the guard, the guard clothes and she got out. Let's see if there is anything under the beds, on the cells. Um, what's over here? Some ammo. And the bathroom. Okay. Well, we'll need to check at floor number two. There's nothing on the bench. Let's go up the, uh, down the elevator. 
man. <laughs> this guy. I forgot to check on the first floor. Oh. Uh. I'm gonna go back really quick. I forgot to check, like, on the middle area where the lights are. There is an item in the middle, I think. So I'm gonna get that. What's a quick way to get there? I think. Oh. Uh, wait, 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 wait. There was a, there was a level one door here, right? Oh. What was the level one? It was up to the to the right, I think. So let's try open that. Oh, this one too. Uh, one second. Because there can be lasers to detect this. We got the cardboard. Let's go! Look at me go. We got a cardboard, guys. We won the game already. Was there anything over there? Level 2. No. Uh, so we can go. General game design advice from texturing to lining and scripting. Her night vision girls are pink. Oh, this is a guard. I kind of go on the stairs, I think, because there's a guard there. Okay, we can go. Shit, it's too funny. All right, B2, here we go. So, he said... Some walls were broken. Also, trap doors on the ground, like in Metal Gear. For example, this one. They could not paint it. Uh, we need... Uh... We need explosive. Plastic explosives, right? Level 3. Level 1. No lasers. What is this? C4. Level 5. We can open this one too. Grenades. This one is open. I'm not sure if there's like mines or suck on bullets. Okay, it's ammo in general. This one is level two, so we cannot get that one. Okay, and then there's another door down here. Level four. All right, so we can do shit. The only thing we can do is use the C4. Oh, trapdoor there. Now, how to use it? I forgot. Put it. Cool. Stun grenades. And chaff grenades. Okay. Do you have the OG PC version of this? Yo, that's sick. I was looking at that before, like, when it was released. Can put it on the wall too, like that. Oh, it tells you there's trap doors with the night vision. Did you see? That's so cool. You got more C4. That's it. And then trap door. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I like that. Should we have the big box copy somewhere? Wow. That's so cool. I wonder how much that sells for. Any other walls we can break? 
Let me see this side one second. No, it doesn't look like it. I think it's bottom left. Over there. If you're afraid to check. Oh, right, new area. We found the way. Jamming. So we cannot use the, the radar here. One there, one there. Ouch. Wow, I was close, I guess. <gasps> He's the, the president of Armtech. Level six and level four. And a camera with a gun, by the way. There's a camera with a gun. But I needed that ration. <laughs> Careful, Snake. I'm trying to. Alright, here we go. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Oh! Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Damn. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! Oh, this is so epic, man. Draw! Oh, shit. I understand the issues. I make them go where I want. Oh, he can't rake that shit. He's reloading, he's reloading. Bro, why are you shooting? Alright. Alive. Let's go. Oh, that, did you see? Did you guys see that shot? That was sick. Oh! Cross shot. Woo! We need more bullets. You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last long. Oh, I almost dodged the explosive there. I only have eight bullets left, though. I missed. He hit Baker. He tried to. Okay, three bullets. Ah, shit. I love the smell of quarter. You know. Okay, two bullets. I just need one more. But you I missed. The smell of your own death. I have no ammo. I need this. 
Don't touch it. Three, four. Okay, I got it. Got it! You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! You're pretty good. <laughs> Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? Not gonna say anything. <laughs> Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes <laughs> now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? Oh! I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by codec. Oh. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. What? Damn. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need 
to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The Nuclear Age ended with the turn of the Millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. For real. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Kojima knew their future. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. Don't turn my head in. <laughs> you mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military Wait, budgets so due to the so-called peace. Support of developing Metal Gear to suppress other makers. Yes. countries? And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black Stank. project. Stank, you know what a black project is, bro. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Oh! Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining. How do you still have data. that after being tortured? Data. All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Oh. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> oh. Uh, he did his, in his butt trick. You Ooh, should ask Dr. Sure. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? Again? What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they have just 
using you for <sighs> They played it like damn fiddle! They're not telling us something. They're adding information from us. He knew, Baker knew. What the hell? Bro, I need a blue bandana. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Bro. Don't lie to me. Yeah. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Are Snake, you I'm counting on you. Are you not entertained? Hello, Lou. Is this not why you are here? Okay. Let's get out of here. That was, that was insane. Fire with Ocelot, the ninja, everything. Doing fantastic. Like every if every any time I play this game, it's just like Mwah. How are you though? Oh there is there are guards here now. Oh we got the car level two. So we don't need the car level one. In this game you only get the hard level cards and they will open any lower lower levels. Uh, so there was a level two around here, I think. Yeah, this one. It says Famas. But as you can see, there are their lasers. We got had to crawl. It was hard to get out of my bed, but I'm good. Nice. Good to hear. Okay, I don't think there was any more level 2s around. Level 3. Level 1. We already got that one. Level 5. So we are... Woo! That guy almost saw me. Oh my god, he's coming. We have to go back to the elevator and call Meryl. But he, her... Her codec number is on the back of, a, of the CD, guys. <laughs> Luckily for me, on the main menu of the game, on the Master Collection, you can see the case of the CD and turn it, and it tells you there. So now that we're here... That's a level 1. What is that dot? So we can open this. There is a guard sleeping there. Should I stay in bed? My eyes are getting heavy. Oh no. You need some rest? We got the sock on suppressor. Let's fucking go. So now we can shoot without getting alerted. And we have the famous assault rifle. But this one doesn't have a silencer though. Alright, so let's call uh, Meryl. Let's call Miller. First, the DARPA chief, and then President Baker die of a heart attack? Yeah, smells pretty rotten to me. Master, do you know anything? No, but there's definitely something going on. Keep your eyes open out there. Hmm, okay. Over and out. That's safe. What's up, Snake? Let me see if I do this. Snake, listen to what Lochi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. True. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. True. Thank you for that advice. 
So if I do this, oh, that works. I I just hope the game saves basically. So let me actually call her here. So it was one four to one fifteen. No response. But it is that one though. Shit. Oh, the other guy is upstairs. Oh, so the dots that doesn't have vision, that means they are on a different floor. No response. The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Yes, but I'm calling and it's... maybe it's 140? Oh, there you go. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? Oh! That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. Their beautiful, compassionate eyes. Damn. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. Oh. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. It's a cover. Colonel. Boxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard mm. anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. Mm. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. <coughs> anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? 
Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Me. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Oh. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of music my way. When talking about sensitive <laughs> topics. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. Oh. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. That's amazing character development and bonding. So is she coming here? Do you has do you just have to wait? I'm waiting. As a box. <laughs> you love bondage, I mean bonding. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have to do something. Well, let, let's call Campbell, tell her, tell him that we made uh, his niece. What have you got there? A cardboard box? Oh. Yeah, remember that trick? That's the snake I remember. Those poor fools won't know what hit him. <laughs> hmm. Don't worry, Colonel. Meryl is fine. Thank God. Meryl is a very strong woman. I really respect her. She's got plenty of heart. Thanks, Snake. Not so fast. The real mission is still ahead. True. Yeah, bigger box. More realistic with the sizes, this game. A little bit more realistic with the size. Those poor pulling things. You're just walking around. Oh, shit. I also thought that guy was going to see me. There he is, walking around. Box. <laughs> Knocked down. <laughs> so, what do I do here? The other guy is coming back. We can hide under the truck. There is so on bullets there. Should get them. Oh, is she coming now? Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. 
Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Listen, Snake. Those the cargo heaps. door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Oh, no. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. She's determined. And she's opening the door now. Man, Davey hates her. <laughs> Such an amazing voice actor, like so fucking good. Is it safe to come out? Yes. Right, let's go. So there's uh, lasers. So we need to use. You can use the cigarettes, but the you can see them less well. But we have the thermal vision. She's determined. Very determined. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Okay. So we have the thermal goggles and the lasers move here. So we need to wait for them to... There you go. Well, that one goes very fast. Woo, that one almost touched me. We got it! Uh, we're out. <clears throat> Let me grab some grenades. Are you guys having fun? I'm loving it. Lo every time I play this game, I love it. Okay, so we are outside, and we have to go north to the next building, same as in the Metal Gear 1 and 2. Um, you can see some truck or tank things. And here I'm gonna crawl. 48. Snake, be careful. Is this there are Claymore mines around there. Fun? Use a mine Is it my fun number one? Who are you? Just call me. Deep Throat. Okay. Deep Throat. The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Oh, shit. Who are you, anyway? One of your fans. He's my fan. Deep Throat. Guys, I had to go back because I forgot. The, on the second floor on the right, there was a level two door, and I think the mine detector is in there. So I had to grab it. Like, the guards can see you very easily, but... Mine detector, there you go. We needed that. Whew. Here we go. Here we go. So there is a tank waiting to ambush me, huh? I see. So let's see, keep the mine detector. And there on the map, you can guys see. Now if I crawl and walk, I can get the claymore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The tank! This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. Boom. 
snake got the dodge. He first he dodged <laughs> also a lot. <laughs> Shut up, pass. That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. I'll eat you, Raven, like a snake. Go. Let's fight. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't remember how to beat this boss, if I'm honest. Uh, there's two items there. Can I... Shappy's... Raider or something? I jammed myself. <laughs> Do I need to, like, make a move? Let's see. Gunner. Oh, shit. Is it aiming on me? Oh, shit! So I'm getting grenades and shafts. I'm gonna save that heal for later. I'm gonna equip a ration so I don't die. So a bunch of grenades and shit. Bro, I'm throwing the grenades the wrong way. I'm not hitting him. I'm gonna die, man! Ouch. Go run over by that. Oh, I hit him there. Oh, that one. That one's gonna hit him too. Oh, got him. See how you like this. What the fuck? Oh! Is there phase two for these? I don't remember. Careful, Snake. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. You got the card. Well, I want to grab the ration. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle. He is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. See? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes. The raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Okay. Some beef in there. Can I go back to the boss arena? Oh, we heal. And we have more health now. It's like the class of stars from the... from the previous... games. And we can carry more items, too. Okay, we can grab that. Ah, that's enough. Let's go back. Second building. Second building. Here we go. Some FPS drops there when you switch to the first camera sometimes. A ration. And here we can see the building. Guards in suit. Track, cameras. 
Alright, there we go. Doing well. Now, this whole first hour, two hours, there's a lot of cinematics, I will say. There's a guy coming my way. Oh, shit. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. Oh, I cannot shoot I've here. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Mind controlling me. Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. <laughs> Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. Okay, we're gonna call her. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. So we can of shoot here. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Oh, we have the disc. Up to this containing the Metal Gear exercise data. This is what Baker gave us before. Box. I hate that. Oh no, gas. Toxic gas. What the hell? Oh, that's why they're wearing the suits. What the fuck? And they can shoot. I'm dead, I'm dead. First game over. <laughs> Amazing. The the call from Campbell there kind of fucked me over because I wanted to to dodge the old soldier, but I had to stand in, I had to stand st still, and then I put the box and it was too late. And if you get detected, poison gas. Now I'm gonna wait to cross. There's no guards around. Snake! Legendary. Okay. Let's explore the area first. It sucks that the guards see the box from so far and they immediately rush into like <laughs> removing it basically. So it's not really useful. So the nuclear war hurts are those. That's why we cannot shoot. There's a guard next to me. And if you walk in there, you make noise. That floor only. Okay. We just need to be careful, basically. Let me check the truck. And then we go to the second floor. Nothing on the truck. Let's go up. Guard there. It's coming this way. The elevator is there. So we have to go there. And uh, Dr. Emmerich is on this building. So we either find the key cards to disable Metal Gear or we contact Dr. Emirate and ask him how to do it. Those are two options. Let's go B1 first. It is useful, but you have to predict them about, about to spot you. Yeah. I mean, the cardboard is obviously useful, but... Like you said, you have to know how to use it. It's not like a free escape or anything like that. Guy having a health pee. It's 
Something that is very useful is like knocking to make noise in this game for sure. Bro, how long are you gonna take to pee? Oh, he's putting the pants on. There you go. Wash your hands. He's watching his hands. And he's out. Have to be beside him. Bro, that is very uncomfortable. Oh, you can use this. The dryer to make those. That is level five, so we cannot go there yet. And over here is uh, the ladies, ladies' restroom. We cannot, we cannot enter that one. Uh, no, like, what I'm trying to say is, when you go to like a public uh, that, and why do guys actually like? I have that happened to me so many times. Like, there's a guy coming this way. Uh, they look at you. Why? <laughs> so weird. Nikita Launcher. Okay. Level four. That's level five and six, so we cannot get any of those. Let's see. Is there anything Be below? Bullets. <laughs> EP in the box. Oh, both soldiers are here. Okay, let's go back to the elevator and check the other floor. Nothing else there. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Nikita launcher, which is like the rocket launcher in Metal Gear 1 and 2, basically. It's like you can uh, control the missiles. Danger. High voltage. Gas. Oh. Uh oh. The floor is electrified. Okay, we have to break the generator. Again, in Metal Gear 1, we already had to do this. You guys remember? Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. Northwest. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Okay. First, I'm gonna refresh my oxygen. We're gonna equip the Nikita 12. And here, boom. And you can go in first person like this. If you stand still, it will go faster. Northwest, and on the on the on the bar below the oxygen is like the oh shit the cameras can destroy it. Okay. I don't ever play it again, please. No, it's on YouTube. Got him. Nice. My oxygen. <laughs> yeah, nice. So we got the the electrified floor. Now we need to get go fast because <laughs> there's still gas. Level one. Ration. I'm full health. 
This is level four. Level three, but there is a camera. Let's try not to get detected. Oh! Oh shit. Right, we got a gas mask, so we're gonna go out, reset. And now we equip the gas mask. Reduce speed of O2 gauge decrease in poison gas environment. But I need to equip the, the, the cars too, so... <laughs> I'm gonna heal. Okay, and now we equip it. There you go. So now it goes slower. Let's check the left area. Let's see. Oh, you have the gas mask effect. And you also breathe. Haha, <laughs> that's so cool. That camera is not moving. That means I have to go around. Or we can use a chuck grenade. And now the cameras are crazy. Level 6. Level 3. Watch FC4. Doesn't last too long, as you can see there. Our level 3. More Nikitas. And that one is level 4, so we cannot get it. But I want to check around here too. I should equip the gas mask. Another more chaff, another ration. We're fine. We're fine. Let's go to the right side now. I'm gonna use another one of these. Refill oxygen and go to the right side. Doing good, good, doing good. Like I haven't played this game in so many years, but I remember. A lot of stuff from it, for sure. Now, the first time I replayed it, I think it was four years ago. I didn't play in like 15 years, so when I played like four years ago, it was a lot more rusty, but now it's not as much. Okay, here we go again. Let's go to the right side now. You can hear the suppressor. There's a camera, but we can do this. Here we go. The fuck? Hmm? like they were cut by some type of blade. Ninja? Oh, fuck. It's, it's a ghost. Oh, four. Ah, oh, but it's broken, though. Hmm. What is happening here? Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. 
I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Okay, here we go. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Okay, this boss fight is not easy. You can't defeat me with a weapon like that. But I can punch you. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Seek you see. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. True. Oh, fucking bitch. Like, sometimes I try to shoot into, like, making dodge. But I don't remember this fight very well. I know it's hard. Wow, that's a lot of fucking damage. What the fuck? Come here, bitch. Holy shit. Dun -dun -dun. Chap grenade. Is that helpful in any ways? Oh, you can paralyze him with that. C4? Play more? No. <laughs> Didn't work. Stun grenade? I'm gonna die. He has so much health. That doesn't do anything. Fucking bitch. Can I do this? Where is he? No, I miss what the kick. I only have three left, though. 
at this rate, I'm not sure if I have enough damage. Okay. Maybe I should do like pop, pop, like slower? I don't know. I wanna save my last one. Where is he? Wow, he's impossible, man. Oh shit! True ninja attack. I have no heals left. Snake. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, maybe the second try will go better. It's gonna kill me. I don't know how to hit him. That was the perfect ambush and he still killed me. Okay, okay. Ninja, round one, lost. Round two. So the first attack, we... We bait it for him to teleport. And then we move. That was too late. Come on, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. The feel of battle. The clashing of bone and he knows me from the battle before? Huh? Who are you? Come on. <laughs> we know why he's six pains already. No. Oh shit. We are both one health. Bro, this if I get hit, I die. If I if I get hit, he dies. He missed! Oh! He killed me! With a fucking shield. Oh my god, really? Okay, so when we kill him, we have to stay away from him. Got it. Thank you, Kojima. I fucked up. <laughs> Why did I do that? At least you can you can always hit him back if he hits you. So you kind of trade. Actually, if I stay here, he cannot teleport up or down, right? So he can't really teleport behind me. I'll play as fuck there. It's almost there. Okay. I got you, bitch. Careful now, be careful now. I can die. Bro, I'm one health. What is he? Oh, we got him. 
Holy shit. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Who was killed in Zanzibar, guys? What? Not again. Our fun is in Zanzibar. Who is it? Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. Oh, what? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. Oh. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. Hmm. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? He knows because he's all the time I'm selling sure. Snake hurt me like he in the past. Oh, like he death. knows, he has memories. We'll meet again. Yeah. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. He cannot forget that punch battle we had, the feast to feast battle we had at the end of Metal Gear 2. <laughs> How long are you gonna stay in there? Dr. Uh, Emmerich. Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. I need some voice lines for sound effects. Sheesh. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Mm-hmm. I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? He doesn't the know. The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. 
From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. Mm. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon. Keep a them laser, separated and on different gun. projects so they don't know what's the full thing, right? Typical. It's like the Manhattan Project kind of. Gun, you said. Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. Mm. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. S -s Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. I cannot wait to play Metal Gear 5. With a... The truth is... Yeah. My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. Oh, shit. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind, it's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? What is Metal Gear? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. Mm. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Oh, shit. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. <laughs> I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. Okay. How am I supposed to escape from an island? 
Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Okay. Oh! It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Okay. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, oh shit! What happened? No! Oh! Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Mm -hmm. The disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, <laughs> she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's like on Metal Gear 2 with Gustava. The ladies' restroom. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. <laughs> no, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You are strange. It's so funny. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly exactly dies. Exactly what I was going to say. Bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. 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 It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. <laughs> Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. Transformers! They science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, oh. it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. Wow. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. Can you give it to me? If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm on frequency 141.12. Okay. See you later. See ya, Otacon. I hate when they leave me, but I love watching them leave. <clears throat> Yes. <laughs> Let's call him. Oh, we're one health. Oh, we heal. Okay. To remember his codec. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Okay. Ooh. I think it's better to shoot him with the FAMAS polygon there. When he has the shield at the end of the fight, I think it's better to shoot him with the FAMAS than with the pistol. I'm not sure, though. Oh, we have level 4 now. So, there's one room that we can open now from here. And if I get the... Level 3... Level 4... Stun grenades... 
stun grenades. Okay. Uh, no ration. I'm one health, man. Snake is more proficient with his trusty circle. You may be right. But... Oh, shit. Bro, I really need rations. There is a ration there. I need it. But there is so many counters on the way. Okay, let's try to not get hit. If I had a shaft grenade, it would be so much easier, but I don't have any. <laughs> on the last fight. Is there any here, maybe? I don't see any. How do I... Open that door, though? This one is level 6, so we don't have to open it. Level 3... Level 3... Level 4 on that camera. Let's get the ration first. <laughs> Heal. And now if I get hit, I don't die. Let's open this. What's in here? Night vision goggles. Oh! Let's go. I'm looking more on the map than on the, on the game itself. It's easier to dodge the cameras that way. I feel like. Ah, we're out. Oh, shit. I didn't have, I didn't have my gas mask. Okay, so let's see the night vision. Oh shit! So bright, <laughs> my eyes. Okay, let's go to meet Meryl. She's hiding on a different floor, but we need to meet her at uh, the the restrooms. This is the music we hear before. So she has a peculiar way of walking, huh? It's not that one. That was so close. Oh, it's that one for sure. Look at look at look at her. Look at her moves. So we need to make her see us. She even makes a sound. Okay, so she goes to hide. And now we follow her. Second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Your Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart We'll mouth. see about it. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. 
That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. Oh! So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great <laughs> butt. <laughs> oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Okay. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. <laughs> if we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Ouch. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. Mm. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of. I wanna know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. I got this. There was a this. SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? <laughs> Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Okay. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. Oh, nice. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's I know go. this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Now... Um... We got level five. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. <laughs> Make sure you're ready, okay? Hmm. Let me go this way one second. Cardboard B. So A is red and B is green. I need the rations, man. The as a pan. Oh, yes. Psst. 
ghosts. Okay. We're getting stacked. I only have one ration, though. And the Azepam. Anti anxiety drag. Temporarily, it stops invol involuntarily trembling. And we got the Palki emergency input or override device. Okay. Is there anything under this? Nope. Uh, let's go. Um, how are we gonna do this part? Let me call Campbell. Colonel, your niece is fine. Thank goodness. We can't relax. Not yet. I know. Snake. She's quite a woman. As commander of this operation, I can't ask you to watch after Meryl, but... Duty first? Maybe I was wrong. Sending my own flesh and blood to war. She understands about duty. I know she does. But what I want to know is, what was the real purpose of this military exercise? I don't know. Like I said, I'm nothing more than a middleman. Is this transmission being monitored by the military? Of course. <laughs> I get it. All the world's a stage and we're merely players, right? Yes, but even players can influence the play. True. I just hope we can prevent it from having a bad ending. Yeah. Also, in that Meryl and Snake conversation in the bathroom before, you can see a lot of uh, background development there. Let's save the game. It's a good thing you hooked up with Meryl. You should have seen the colonel. He doesn't like to let it show because he's the boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later, Snake. Talk to you later. Let's call a Miller. You managed to link up with Meryl. Good. So now you must have the card keys that will override the detonation code. I you do. should hurry. The time limit is running out. Okay, thank you. Thank God Meryl's okay. She's a tough one, all right. Although when you look at her, it's hard to imagine how tough. It must be the walk. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad she's okay. I also got a key from her. I think I can use it to stop them from launching a nuke. Get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. That's where the detonation code input system is. Okay, is there any door I can open now with a level 5? I don't think so. So I think we just go this way. <clears throat> oh shit, guys. Here we go. One of the most mo epic moments in gaming history. <laughs> now we can see Meryl's health. The, the first person you see from Meryl's point of view. Oh, okay. Nice room. Oh. 
snake. How do you like me? What the? Do you like me? Hold me, a snake. What's wrong? Oh, oh, hurry, hurry. Make love to me. Oh, snake, I want you. Who's that? Oh, you don't like girls? What is happening? Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Okay. Ouch. I see Mantis lying around. What's on my memory card? Show me. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. Do it. It's not working, bro. <laughs> what do you think now? Can you feel my power? Now? I don't think I have the. Uh... Vibration enabled. Demonstration is over. Oh, he view. Wait, what? Can I shoot him? Oh, we got a ration. Oh shit! He's throwing. He's using the chairs. He can't. No. Oh shit! He was working, he controlled your game. <laughs> am I hitting him? I am. I have to be careful. What the fuck? What? 
This controller. What is it? What the fuck? What is it? No! It doesn't do too much health. Hey there, Kojima. Bro, why does it equip? Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? You can't read my mind. Wait, if he does the controller thing, I don't know what to do. Alright, let's back up. Uh, I'm gonna put this on. So that way I get shot. Wow. No, I kill her. I strangle her twice, though. How did I kill her? Maybe she was very close to being knocked out. What happened? And that Sid. carried over the strangulation. Errol. Should be close to. Yeah, here we go. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? Oh, I can't use a stun grenade. <laughs> you are powerful indeed, but I know your weak point. Do you? What H rating does this game has actually? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Don't hit me. Bro. He's so close to dying. Got him. One health. Got him. Woo. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, hey. it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, you used the other... I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He Tell makes him. his own. Oh! Burn! I so, but I will read your future. Okay, tell me. But there you're solid for. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. Okay. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. 
Thank you, Psycho Mantis. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession that Thanks. selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed it was enough to make me sick every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their dna to play them that way exactly and that's why there is war but you you are different you're the same as us we have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. Hey, in your life, the first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. Mm -hmm. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. Is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. Holy shit. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. Wow. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. <laughs> Naked? You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels... Nice. Kind of... Nice. Should have done it earlier. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? 
could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. We're learning. Hell yeah. Apply control into control port 1. It's already there. Thank you. So I didn't switch my port list. <laughs> but the game reminds you in case you put it on port 2. <laughs> Alright. I cannot wait to play, especially Metal Gear Solid 5. It's gonna explore and dive a lot into all their characters that we just meet in, in these previous games. They're gonna be the, the, the back, background, past. We're gonna learn how, where they come from, etc. Because here, yeah, sure, we were with Psychomantis here for like 20 minutes, but in other games we'll learn more. Can't wait for that to happen. Oh, nice, we're rushing. Okay. And now it's the wolves, right? Yeah. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How Wait, in Alaska. So I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. What? I didn't know that. <laughs> I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Okay. Let's call. I like calling on the codec every after every important event. So uh, the other characters make comments about what's happening. Like, oh, Meryl is safe. Oh, the ninja is Grey Fox. Oh, Sagamand is whatever, right? So let's see. Be careful. Wolves have the advantage in the dark. Not only can they see better, but they have a keen sense of smell as well. You'd better use your night vision goggles. Got it. He knows about fauna, flora and fauna, so... Don't suddenly look into the dark. Look slowly from a light area to a darker area. If you do that, your eyes will gradually adjust and you'll be able to see better in the dark. Oh. Try not to play in the dark either. We got hybrids in the north walking in from Russia right down here? Oh, really? Wow. I feel bad when I see, like, those northern... Like, kind of, a uh, dogs. Can I crawl? No, I cannot crawl. But I can crawl through here, right? Let's see. Let's use the night vision. Oh, shit. I can see. There is a door there, level 5. I have to go around. Now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if I don't come to me, I'm going to kill it. I'm sorry, because they bat you. That's an angry wolfie. Is there any way we can get past them? That's a mama wolf and a baby wolf. What it's over here. It's a box. Oh, then by the bait. Ouch! They're coming for me. Oh shit! I want to kill you. Shit. 
shit. Wait, where's the door? Oh, I had to walk through the... I hope I don't die. They're yumming on me. This way. I don't think they can get over here. Oh, man. They're a wolfie. Ah! Wolfie likes my butt or Meryl. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. They like her. I'm a dumb feeling wolves. Nice. Mary Gold, Mary Gold, that charm. The building. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! She knows the way. So are these claymores or normal mines? Can I like crawl and grab them or will I die? I'm gonna try. But that will that way will be kind of cheating. <laughs> I'm not sure if there is like normal like different mines than claymores. Can that be? So you kind of cheat this puzzle of having to follow the footprints? I literally have no idea. So what do you think? Pretty good, huh? To How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Oh. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Yeah, I'm gonna equip a Russian in case I get hit. And I'll just do this. Ah, we did it. <laughs> Oh shit! Sniped. Snake, leave me and run. Meryl. I guess I am a rookie after all. Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. I think I shot me. Sure. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I wouldn't slow you down. I. 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 I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier, but war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now get out of here. Meryl! And the voice acting in this game is fucking amazing. Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Oh, shit. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. 
She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I'm more than my genes. I wouldn't go that far, but... I'm mute. I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Oh! Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. You better shut the fuck up now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So we need to go back. And get this sniper rifle. Oh, you can get the claymores. There you go. I'm gonna get shot, though. Oh, she's... She's pointing at me! Get the fuck out from there. <laughs> what is Simo Haya? I don't know that one. It's crazy also how they are all the time doing... Like an anti-war message, but at the same time... Kind of, uh... It's being like war heroes and... Oh, there's a rush in there. And how uh, cool they are as like Snake and all this stuff, right? Like, at the same time, they're, they're saying they're soldiers and they don't care about killing and they're heartless, but at the same time, they're sh doing a mission to stop a nuclear weapon, a nuclear launch. And, uh, oh, more than a set pound. That's good. There's a wolfie here. Is this wolfie friendly with me? Interesting. Not anymore, I guess. Where, where did I go? Where was the exit? This way. So now we have to backtrack to the, to the first building in the game. I'm gonna heal. Still not be one health. Also, I don't even go full health, so... We have to go to that building where we place the C4. And open the remaining... Uh, doors that we can open with the level 5 now. And the, the sniper will be there. A little bit of backtracking. Backtracking. What was B1? What was B1 here? I forgot. Oh, there's guards here too now. A lot of guards, actually. Level 3. I don't mind grabbing some extra resources, you know? They're coming this way. We don't need that. We need the level... Level 1. I need shafts. How many shafts do I have? 3 out of 15. Yeah. Shit. Guard there. So does this guard ever goes away? No, he just... He's guarding specifically the room with the sniper, I think. So what if I do this? Look at this. Huh? What was that noise? Distract him. Hmm. I didn't do shit though. Hmm. 
Next time he goes left, I go. But there's another guard coming now. I could use a stun grenade. So there's lasers here too. Oh shit. So it was well they uh, sniper in Finland. Had a custom to move. Uh, before they break and stay still until since that packing snow, holy shit. Professional sniper. And we got some. We got the sniper rifle now you to fight. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Okay. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. As a gamer. <laughs> I'm a gamer instinct. What is it? Wolf, I, I just forget it. Tell me more. All second, do you know something about Sniper Wolf? <laughs> you caught Snake? You, you will not see his breath. However, China, they say. Rashness kept snowing his mouth to mask it. Wow. Misfortune to many. Snake, go forward when it's safe, but retreat when there's danger. You'll just have to play it by ear. The art of war. The circumstances. Sun Tzu. Oof, I almost touch it. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm out this bitch. I'm a box. What's that? How do I lose these soldiers? They keep finding me. You're gonna come in here, though. Okay. He's a gamer. Look at this. Look at this judo karate. Look at this. Yo! Knock the fucking out. What? Oh, uh, we got the sniper. Let me check B1. What was B1? I forgot. Oh, B1 is there where we rescue Mary on the cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We cannot do anything there. Uh, I think we just go back to Meryl. Hip toss. Got him. Let's go back. I don't think we just go. Alright, time to fight Sniper Wolf. Round one. Oh, another Russian here. Oh, I can't grab it. I'm at full health. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna equip the DSA pump. We're gonna equip the this. But when you equip this, you crawl and you aim there. Okay, let's see how this fight goes. Gonna make sure there's no mines here, so I can like. We're gonna put this. This hit one. Oh, she's trying to hit me, no? Oh, she should not grab that. Now, oh, let's see. Where is she? Hit her. She's moving. She's behind the column. Dun dun dun. 
I can see her breath. Oh my god. That to be so precise. Got her! Oh, she hit me. Bro, it's not easy to aim, let me tell you. I'm gonna hit the fucking mine. Should I keep some snow in your mouth, Wolfie? <laughs> I'm gonna heal Jet. I'm gonna hit one of these. Where is she? Oh! Bro. Okay, now I'm healed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get the fuck up. Maybe I should get closer. She missed. I hit her too. Seven bullets. Seven bullets is all I can give you. I don't know where she is. Yeah, and they call him? Oh. Come on, bro. One bullet! What do I do if I run out of ammo? I need to headshot. I need to do a headshot. Oh! Shit! Boom. Nice. GG. Where's Meryl? Meryl! <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. We just defeated the Sniper Wolf. What is Meryl, though? Ration here. Oh, you get that. What? Oh, shit. Don't move. They got me. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Okay. Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Oh! <laughs> That's right. Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. Oh. You're my... special prey. Got it. Huh. Oh, I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. What the? Whoa! Oh, no, Take down. You broke. You guys broke the sound alerts. <laughs> the sound alerts hiding in a box. Don't kill me. Yes, he's my target. Mine. Oh, shit. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? 
I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man I know that boy stole what was rightly mine. The man who stole my birthright. Me, I'm oh, I can't the, the camera. You stole everything good from. And now. After the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Oh, she. Forget it. Your body is strapped down tight. Let me move! You need his DNA too. Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldiers' mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. Oh. It's separate. I mean, liquid snake. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, Big Brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in 10 hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. Oh. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. He says we need to find out who killed Baker and Octopus. That is. Your woman is still in this world. Oh, Mary's still Mary. alive. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> this is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Captain. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? So... Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? What? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? 
What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. What if you want her to stay that way? You better start answering my questions right now. Oh shit, here we go. Interrogation. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. What if you do? The girl's life is mine. Okay. How did this work, by the way? I don't remember. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had if enough, you let Meryl press die, the select you have a different ending, submit. right? And then you can save Meryl. Too. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. Micros. I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your uh, body. I need to be pressing if it's just circle for a short lot, time, so I'm gonna put my kill you. controller never heard in that a good before. position. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. <laughs> it's a funny glitch. Let's get started. Some texture glitch and like Polygon said, it touches his right arm. <laughs> okay, here we go. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Sure. Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, my fucking controller moved. I have to hold it. Had enough yet? I lost so much health there. We're not finished yet. It's Die! You still okay? Want me to go on? No! Can you take one more? Come on. man oh. well that's enough for now I oh. think. you're the boss's brother all right your brother he's an amazing man who else could shoot down two f-16s with a hind helicopter the les enfants oh. was not a total failure he is the one man who could make my dream into a reality 180 aq after all It was like in uh, that movie with Tom Cruise. I forgot the name. Huh? Looks like I got a roommate. The DARPA chief? Huh? What a stench. That's uh, uh, I caught a cold. That witch. She took my clothes. Okay, so we're in a cell. Do we have the codec? Can we call Campbell? Snake, are you okay? 
I've been better. How's Mero? They've got her. Damn. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? You know I'm something. sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before, I don't know the details. You know something? I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. Oh? All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's oh. already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines and the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Oh. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Save Meryl. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Okay. Is that the soldier that Meryl knocked out? How do you know? Is it the same voice or is it because he's sneezing? Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you're strong enough to resist. Okay. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. Oh, can I'll take on help us? I remember. Uh, there's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Oh, he's coming. Thanks. Okay. He fear from his dad to play close okay? and I got cold. I'm oh, so scared for you. I see. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are here. The, the, the first guard she knocked down. connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. 
It's always nice to hear that you're all right. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Yeah. Okay. It's straight for four hours now. I think... Please, Nick, don't give up. We are kind of half of the game, I think. So I think we're gonna leave it on this cell. And f tomorrow, we're gonna go from here to the end of the game. Even though we still have a while to go. A while to go. But I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I have a little bit of back pain, so it's rest. Woo! What a... What a, what a stream. Nice. Well... That was a Metal Gear Solid. Part 1. That was fun. This game is fucking amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time finishing this game. Bye-bye.